Welcome to my channel, Mallorca Under the Sun, and in this video, I am in Porto Triano. So in this mini travel guide, I'm going to show you why Port Adriano makes just the perfect day out or the perfect evening out and why so many celebrities are now coming down to Port Adriano for its really chilled vibe. In fact, the UK TV show Made in Chelsea was being filmed at the port in Coast just a few weeks ago. However, Port Adriano is also one of the main events areas down here in the southwest and their concerts that run through the resort all the way through the summer, but more on that later. Now, as you can see, I'm here on a weekday and the beach is, well, it's a lot quieter than of course you'd see on a weekend. And it's a lot quieter than many of the other resort beaches too. Now you can see the colour of the water all along the beach here down in Port Adriano. It's just absolutely turquoise blue and clear. So we can see that just through the car park here is a fantastic restaurant right at the end of the beach. So we're going to go and check it out. Okay, so from what I can see here, I've seen the best of value paella on the islands, I think, today. So a mixed paella is just €13.50 Euros per person, and the seafood paella is €14.50. Euros. And of course, the absolute best thing about this restaurant is the incredible views that you do get out across the water here, not only of the beach, but of the port too. Now, if you are visiting Port Adriano on the weekend and you are hiring a car, well, there's a fabulous free car park here. But I will warn you now, it does get very, very busy on a Saturday or a Sunday. So if you are hiring a car, then it may be worth coming along during the weekday. However, there are loads of buses that do come out to Port Adriano. So if you want to know how easy it is to get the bus here in Mallorca, then do check out the travel guide, which I will link to right at the end of this video. So if you are planning to come along and enjoy any of the restaurants in the port, then there is a huge underground parking area and this is free to park in as well. So if you're into your water sports, then this is a great place to come. You can rent sailboards, paddle boards. You can even go scuba diving too down here. And you can also come down here and rent jet skis too. Now, one thing that makes Porto Adriano rather unique is that it has a really good vegan restaurant and it is super popular. So while they do have meat on the menu here, you can pick up some really great value vegan food. So you've got vegan nugget nuggets for just €8.50. Or you can choose from a selection of vegan burgers from €14.90. So if you are lucky enough to have a yacht down here, then they do have some excellent provisioning facilities like a Court & Glaze supermarket too. Okay, so I'm looking at some really good priced menu del dears down here as well, which is where you get your first course and your main course and dessert all in one price. You can get that for just 17 euros here. So the El Faro restaurant has got some great looking menu del dears here and just for 22 euros you can actually get a freshly made paella, glass of wine and starters too. Now you can see right behind me they are refurbishing the events area down here in Porto Adriano. So Port Adriano may be one of the smallest ports on the island, but it is big in entertainment and over the years has hosted some huge concerts here in Mallorca. Now this summer we have got bands such as Texas and the Dire Straits Experience, but most importantly we have also got Niall Rogers too, which is actually going to be really super exciting this summer. There's also a, a festival as well, a summer festival with food trucks and entertainment and art as well. So if you are staying over in Santa Ponza, I would say it's definitely worth coming to enjoy the really relaxed atmosphere out here. So I'm going to head down to a coast right at the end of the port here to find out why this venue has become so popular over the past 10 years. A 
Okay, Sasha, so I hear that Made in Chelsea, um, this is a British TV show, um, if anybody from outside of the UK is watching. Now, the Made in Chelsea boys were down here last week. Is this a popular hotspot for, for celebrities? Yeah, it really is. We have a lot of uh, sports stars here. We have a football players here, car race drivers, and uh, also people from the television. So now, every now and then, we have people, famous people here around. DJ Diablo V, good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. Okay, so I see you are the resident DJ down here at Coast. Tell me, how many evenings or days are you down here and when are you DJing? Uh, generally in the summer, I'm here seven nights a week. Um, but at this time of year now, I'm only here four nights. But it's not long, I think it's like two or three more weeks and then we're here seven nights. So it's really busy and I've been here for six years now, I think. It's my sixth year of residency, it's really good. Wow, fantastic. Okay, so tell me, why should people come down to Port Adriano and what, what does this area offer to anyone maybe staying in Santa Ponza and maybe wanting a different kind of night out? Okay, yeah, we're, we're close to Santa Ponza. Obviously, we've got the old Toro and we've got some hotels up there as well. So a lot of people are around the area. Um, but also, for, for people that aren't at the area, which is, I think, where you're going, it makes a little bit of difference. And for the sake of a five euro taxi ride, you can come down here and see a whole different things. Now, obviously, there's live music music concerts down here speaking about the port as a whole there's also uh, street culture events uh, they have pop-up food events uh, we also have a lot of uh, yachting regattas that take place here uh, the twin hole cup takes place that's a really good event and then here at coast obviously it's uh, it's a great they have a great fine fusion menu so the menu always varies which is great two levels of entertainment uh, and obviously of course there's me DJing as well that sounds perfect. Absolutely brilliant. Now, I'm going to let you get back to the decks just because I've had to drag you away from them just because you're playing a lot of copyright music, which I can't use on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for speaking to me. I shall see you soon. No worries. You have a good afternoon. OK, everyone, so if you are looking to stay over in Port Adriano, then there is one five-star hotel out here. However, it's most likely that if anyone coming to stay in Port Adriano will be chartering a super yacht or coming in on their own yacht. However, it's perfectly accessible here to visit. And as I mentioned before, there's so many buses that do come out this way too. Now, in my opinion, I find Port Adriano to have a completely different vibe Everyone down here is really, really friendly and in my opinion it's a great place to come whether to do some water sports, to head to the beach, to come up here for the many concerts or just to come out here for a nice meal. Now the restaurants out here I find to be a little bit cheaper than in many of the popular areas of the island and definitely worth trying out. Okay everyone, uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget you can find me over on the Facebook group and on my Instagram, also called Mallorca Under the Sun. And don't forget to head on over to my website on mallorcaunderthesun.com to go and check out more information all about Mallorca. Okay, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Goodbye for now.